I am a child and a product of the hookup culture. And I didn't ask for that. The culture is so strong that even if you come from a good family, it makes its way in. I grew up in a really good family, was raised in the Catholic faith. As a young girl, I like put so much pride into pursuing excellence. And from a very young age, I was always an athlete. I played a lot of sports growing up. Um, I played tennis, volleyball, basketball, track, narrowed it down to tennis in college. And then post-college, decided to compete in powerlifting. And then after powerlifting, decided to pick up CrossFit. I would work to pursue excellence, so I would stay extra hours, I would work hard, whether it was in my sports or in my academics, like I always wanted to be the best. And I just loved the forging of what it took to, to become my best. In high school, there was a turning point. I just remember making one wrong decision and entering into a relationship um, that ended up being very physically and emotionally abusive. And that began to shape me in ways that did not pursue excellence. I dove straight, like head first into the hookup culture and just grasping at everything that the culture told me that I needed to be um, in order to be a woman in this culture today. That carried into my college years where I continued to pursue unhealthy relationships, go to parties, indulge in substances I shouldn't have, continued to play sports throughout college as well. And deep down inside, there was still that little girl um, who wanted to pursue excellence and knew deep down in her gut that this is not the life that I want to live. But I do remember a specific turning point. I had one friend who, who really called me on. She was not my close friend. She was my roommate. And she asked me like, is this the life that you really want to live? Is this what's excellent to you? Like, is this the kind of woman you want to be? Is this the kind of mother you want to be? Is this the kind of friend you want to be? Is this the daughter you want to be? I was mad. I was like, who the heck do you think you are to tell me how to live my life? Like, focus on your own life. Like, I'm gonna do what I think I need to do. But homegirl stayed strong. Like, she was like, no, like, you thirst for the Lord. These friends that you have aren't really your friends. You think these boys really love you? They don't. She was bold with me um, because she knew that was what was needed um, because I'm very stubborn. She definitely planted a seed that day um, where in my stomach came back 10-year-old Krista um, who always wanted excellence. But when it comes to my sexuality, what does that mean to pursue your sexuality excellently? I felt like there was a challenge that was put before me um, that I needed to rise to. Um, I didn't know how, I didn't know what I would have to do, but I, I knew deep down in me that I wanted, I wanted whatever she had, which at the time I didn't know was chastity. So slowly but surely, um, she beckoned and welcomed me back into the Catholic Church. You would think we would never be friends, um, but she's actually one of my most faithful ride or die friends um, today. I mean, like we are sisters. Soon enough, I was, I was going to retreats. I went to the March for Life every year, um, and there I encountered the Culture Project. And I'm like, that's a weird name. Um, and I just remember seeing the mission statement um, that like, we proclaim the dignity of every human person and also living out a life of sexual integrity, thus calling the culture to become more fully alive. I remember thinking like, they will never hire somebody like me with such a past, with like such a deep wound. The only thing that could play back in my head was, what kind of woman do I want to become? What kind of mother do I want to become? Um, and what kind of life do I want to lead? So eventually I applied, got hired, and it's been two years. I feel like the mission rewired the way I love. It is an invaluable experience that I owe, I, I genuinely owe my life to this mission um, and have grown up in this mission and become the woman I wanna be in this mission. And that's why I chose to be a missionary with the Culture Project. Krista, um, she is like your number one girl. She like will cheer you on, she will fight for you. Well, I would never mess with Krista. I, I would always want to be on Krista's good side, never on Krista's bad side. And if I ever needed to go into a battle or a fight or like somebody's, I'd be like, Krista, come with me. And then just watch Krista go, you know. Guys, 
I got, I got FOMO. I got FOMO. I just want to hang out. Also, I can bench press all of you. She is really impressive to me. <laughs> she just like wants to understand you. It's so good. <laughs>